Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw this sum in copy ISO. If you see length is 100, see 70 plus 30, which will be on right side. Height is 45 and width is 60. So first we'll start with radius 30, which is in top view, right on top surface. So I will take 60, I will take midpoint. Then from center I will mark 30-30 and I will draw circle with rhombus method, 4 center method. After that we will draw longest diagonal. Then from opposite side, opposite corner to this two midpoint, we can join. Always remember that corner will be always more than 90, angle will be more than 90. This is point 0.1, point 0.2. So point 0.1 and 2 is always angle more than 90. This is 3 and 4. This is M, M, midpoint. So you can take 1 to M and you can draw arc. Then you can take 4 to M and you can draw arc. So that radius 30 would be done. After that we can draw diameter 30. See this is done. Now for diameter 30 again from center how much you will take? 15, 15, 15, 15. See this rhombus. Then again I will write 1, 2, longest diagonal is already there. I can join opposite midpoint. See this is 3, this is 4. Again same method, 1 to M and we can draw arc. Then from 4 to M, we can draw arc. Then we'll draw a line. After that, we'll draw a vertical line. So we are done with the top portion. Now for this we need to go down by how much? 30. So before that we will draw this lower plate which is 15. So you take 15 from here. And you can draw a plate like this. After drawing this plate, we know we have to draw radius 30, right? Radius 30 is there, so rhombus would be 60. So I'll take 60, 60, 60, 60. You draw longest diagonal. Again mark midpoint, midpoint. This 
is point one, two, three, and four. This is M M. So you take one to M, and you can draw arc. From two, we don't have to draw, so we'll take directly from four, four to M. Three to M also, we don't have to draw. So we got half circle. Now same half circle is down also. How much down? Fifteen. So you take point this tangent down, point four down, and point one down. How much we will take? Fifteen down. This is one dash. This is four dash. So one to M. Then you keep it at one dash. Then again four to M. Keep it at four dash. This will be tangent. This will be dark. Now we'll try this. This circle. How much it is down? Thirty. So from point one, we'll go down by how much? Thirty. So point one and four. See this. So from point four. And from point one of radius thirty, we'll go down by thirty. This is one dash, four dash. Then you take one to m radius, copy paste, and from one dash, you can draw it down. See this. Same with four. Also, you take four to M, and from four dash you draw arc. This will be dark. Now we need to draw this rib. It is how much? Twenty-two and ten, ten on both ten. Width is ten. So from center point, I will take five, five. I will take this. Twenty-two, and from here I will take five-five on both the sides. This won't be there. You extend this and this, so we'll get the rib portion. This is called rib. Thin portion joining two parts. It's called rib. So we'll draw the required dark line. Now we need to draw one more circle, which is diameter 22. So from center again, what we will do? From center point, we'll mark 11, 11, 11, 11. We'll draw longest diagonal. Then from point one, we can draw this arc. See this. This is two. This is three. This is four. 
so we can take 1 to m we will draw radius same from 2 keeping the same radius then 4 to m and 3 to m Now after that we need to draw this polo circle, there is slight depth, depth circle we need to draw. So from 2 we will go down by how much? 15. So that will be 2 dash. We will take this radius 2 to m, this radius, from 2 dash we will try and cut. We will see slight curve. So that you should keep in mind. Then we can do origin. 30 30 and we can do labeling and uh, sorry dimensions thank you